Oh, look at this. Oh, guys, I need to show you this. The spicy salad gained popularity because of the lady boys and the LGBTQ plus community in Thailand. Hello guys, it's Bob Praja and today we are back in Bangkok, Thailand. And again, this is my good friend Constella from Koh Phangan episode, you remember? Yeah, and today we are in Bantatong area. This is like a newer modern development area for street food. It's a modern street food heaven actually. And this is very close to uh, one of the best universities in Thailand, Trang Kong University. Actually, this area is one of my favorite area to explore the street food in Thailand because it's a lot of more newer, trendy restaurants and also so it's very affordable price for college students, right? Yes, because this is a university area, so it's pretty safe, it's clean, and there's a lot of young people yeah. right here. And right okay. now, we're actually in the park right next to the uh, street food area. Yeah, you can see this is a really green area of Bangkok, but we are going to walk around and show you what is this area has to offer. Okay, let's go. This is our first stop. It's right across from the park. This is called Jewan. It's a Thai Chinese healthy dessert uh, cafe. Yeah, with lots of options like uh, sesame ball, ginger tea, and and that's soy milk. milk. Yeah, yeah, that's their famous soy milk. So this place has been open for more than 100 years old. Normally it's super busy. It's way busier before, but Lisa from Blackpink, the big K-pop star, she's made this place more popular by checking out here. And now all her fans is waiting to try this one out. Normally there's a long line, but we are so lucky there's nobody here right now. So we're gonna check it out and see what they have to offer us. It's so fast. How do you think? Just first impressions. Very nice. Very yeah. nice. Very, very traditional, nice. right? Yeah, yeah. And it's actually bigger than I expect, mm -hmm. right? Normally, this kind of dessert is come in a very small bowl, but this place is quite small. And this is like 40, 50 baht, 60 baht. So, yeah, you can see. This is. Uh, total so 640 to 60 baht. We ordered three of this and it's quite big guys like for this uh, we we're gonna share it all So what do we have here first one? This one is the So here this is milk paste. Milk paste. Milk this paste is with gingo seeds and glass jelly. Yeah glass jelly and it's coming cold. This is milk oh. There are ice. Yeah with ice and this one I order is this soy milk paste. So this is vegan. Actually it's total vegan here this is a soy milk pudding with this is in Thailand we call this ruby ruby dessert which is like you can see why because it looks like rubies and very shiny which is actually made from cashew nuts with wrapped with the rice flour and also this is one this is like a very traditional Thai Chinese style I probably think China have this one too which is ginger soup and this one this ball is the sesame rice ball which is actually my favorite and I believe like you can add extra sugar by yourself and I don't think this one they have any sugar in there All right, Costella, do the honor, first one mm. How was it? Mm. It's not too sweet It's not too sweet yeah, So it's, it's just perfect mm -hmm. And, and I like the king of this. I hope this will make me smarter. Oh yeah, in in uh, Thailand we, we believe this is make you smarter. <laughs> and so a lot of students try to yeah, eat like this. Better memory. Yeah. Mmm. Wow. Very really good quality yeah. king, king of this. Mm -hmm. I like it. This is what Lisa for Black King order. This is the soy milk, okay. We do try both. Oh I want to get everything in there. Mm, look at this. Cheers. <laughs> How was it? I like it. Wow. Okay, the ruby balls are very crunchy. 
ruby, yes, it's extremely crunchy. Yeah. Um, the thing about this place that makes it famous is because they are soy milk. They make fresh soy milk every day. And the signature of this place is you can taste the, a little bit burn of the soy milk, which is make it very, very distinct from other, other places. And it's actually a, a good burn taste. What do you think, Consola? You I like, like this one more. Me too. Actually, I like yeah. the vegan version more. Yeah. This is. It's so vegan. Yeah, this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is really, really healthy. It's not sweet at all that much. Yeah. Right? So it's very refreshing. And it's actually, mostly it's pretty good for you too. Now, we try this one. This is the ginger soup. I just want to try the soup first and see if it has any sugar. Yep, no sugar. It's actually quite uh, clear my throat pretty well. Oh, wow. Right? Very gingery. <laughs> Very gingery, but I love it. Let's buy in a half first. Okay, try. Okay. Oh wow. Actually, it's exploding in my mouth. Very, very nutty taste. Fresh. This is a perfect sesame ball for me. It's really, really refreshing. Also, I'm with the ginger soup. Oh wow, it's so good for you. I really love the dessert place, the Chinese style here. Mm. Wow, look at this guy. You can see a lot of seeds in there. Very good quality. Yeah, very good quality. Do you like it? I like it. I can see why this is so popular. The college students. And also a lot of for everyone else. Actually, this place I tried before, right after the one next door. This is a really good the fish soup. Actually, they're um, the pink soup with noodles. You can see this. Yeah, they put this fermented soybean paste. But this tastes really, really good. So, I'm going to try this place right after the one. I highly recommend this. Next door here, this is very famous Thai restaurant with the noodle. This is called Roti Dead. So we're gonna continue our journey. Let's go straight this way. You can see along this road, we're gonna continue walking. You can see a lot of street vendor and a shop. Two way of the street. See this like store after store after store after store, two sides of the road. How is it so far? So I have to confess, I haven't been in this area for a while and it has changed a lot. Yeah. A lot of trendy and stylish restaurants with all this yummy food and very like very well designed logos and everything. Yeah, yeah. And it's very easy to walk to, unlike your art, right? Yeah, it's just one straight road. Yeah. It's very easy and it's actually very close. Oh, it's look at this. Oh, guys, you can see this is 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock maybe in the afternoon and people already line up for this. Because this is it's called J.O. Like, <laughs> you can see all people here, they're all waiting to go to this place. Wow, you can see this guy. And it's gonna be like this, actually even more until 1 o'clock. Because this place is a late night, late night restaurant place. Constella, I never tried this place before because the light is always crazy like this. Have you tried this place before? Yes. You did? How is it? It's the most famous restaurant in this area. Yes. And because this is an, a university area, mm -hmm. that's why this restaurant is popular because it opens until 1 a.m. And it's gonna be lined up like this to 1 a.m. Usually, Crazy. yeah. So it's for like students who study it late at night and they don't have anything to eat. They get hungry and they didn't come here. Wow. What do what people all usually eat here then? So it's the, the mama noodles, the instant Oh, I saw it before. The yeah, it's very famous. Mama noodles soup and yeah. crispy pork salad. Ah, okay. Yeah. They're famous for crispy pork and then also the mama. Too bad, guys. Like. I never eat here, so I don't know how, how people line up here. So I guess I have to become way earlier than this, huh? But you you get there, you know. Like you just wait for for hours. <laughs> God. Okay. <laughs> Costellas, you want where you want to try this one? I've made my mind. It's uh, fish fried rice. 
fish boy rice. Okay, let's try this. I haven't tried this one before either. Oh my god, it's fresh. You can see from the eye. Wow, we're gonna try this place. Look at this fresh seafood here. What <laughs> they even say? It just mean that we have very very fresh fish for today. And then next door they sell also the Thai oyster omelet. Ah, so the food have arrived. Wow, looks so good. I mean, it's not like wow factor, but it smells really incredible. Like very. Yeah, comfort food. Yeah, comfort food. Do you feel like you feel the sick or you want to be warm inside? Yes. What your mom will cook for you? Thai people eat this for breakfast in general, but of course I eat everything anytime anyway. I can tell like this fish is super, super, super fresh. And also Thai people they love to put their soybean based sauce on top of it. And of course it's spicy. <laughs> for me, I prefer just to have the Korean board, but uh, we can try both. Ah, okay. So Consila just saw this. They put some dry shrimp in there too. Actually, it makes the broth more intensified. Oh, some pork in there. Wow, full surprises. I didn't know that. Actually, I want to try the pork too. Okay, just the soup. Cool. I, I want to try it too. <laughs> I want to see it. It's very simple. Wow. It's very simple, but the taste is very lovely. It's perfect. Can't wait to try this. I will try the, the soup first. Whoa. It smells so incredible. Oh wow. It's feeling good, Tess. Yeah, very clean, yeah, very heartwarming. And now I want to try the fish. Mm. We ordered a uh, sea bass anyway. It was simple but super delicious. Now I want to try with the pork. I never tried a pork in here before, it's quite interesting. And it's true. Mm, wow, it's really good. For me, I don't need a sauce for this. What do you think, Hotella? No sauce. I still want to try the sauce. Ah, okay, we're gonna try for the kickoff review, yeah. yeah? So we're gonna put a bit of sauce. So it's better. See the color is changing. It looks more intensifying. Try with the sauce. Wow! You eat a different dish, right? This is more. I know you explained this. What do you think, Pancela? Stronger taste. Yeah, stronger for sure. So the day you eat without the sauce, when you just wake up. Yeah. If you after you have to put the sauce in. Oh yeah, I, I agree. Like this is more, it's more intensified and it's just cool. Yeah, but if you want to eat like clear, chill, you can eat it. But then if you want something more, more tasty, then you put the sauce in. This is very, very good. Place. Oh, this place, guys. This is the newest mala place. It's very, very popular. It's like a mala hot pot place. You can see it's already lined up. Every time I come here, it's lined up. And you can see it's like a shabu shabu with Japanese uh, sushi train concept. And every seat is full here. Wow. <laughs> you can see the uh, the cute. So long. Have you been this place before? No, I want to have this place too. <laughs> oh my god. 49 baht. Only 49 baht. And uh, wow. the shabu. And the grill is 69. So cheap. This place, guy. This is, this is the main road guy and then I just walk one way here you can see this is more like way less traffic and you see a lot of restaurants still here right after we walk for a little bit next door is just the university shopping area and you can see it's still a lot of restaurant when they're in this aisle so 
for me, this is pretty much another Chinatown. Uh, you can see it's more peaceful and there is less traffic. There's still a lot of restaurants nearby. This is just the road next door, next to the main road. Well, the architecture is so pretty. Okay, Costella, will you take me this one? What is this place? It's a spicy salad place. Spicy salad? It's very, 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 very popular. Really? Yes. Okay, sure, let me try this one. We don't even walk until the half of the street yet. Oh my god, are we gonna finish this today? I've always heard about this place, Eat Beer, Spicy Salad place. A little bit of background, the Spicy Salad gains popularity because of the lady boys and the LGBTQ plus community in Thailand. Yeah, that, that's what they love to eat when they come together. This, the concept of this place is they have a special sauce for the salad. It's, it's a mix between Thai anchovies and the shrimp paste. The sound to me is very, uh, very powerful. <laughs> yes, I know most people cannot read it, but even the the recipe of the the salad sauce is written in a uh, ladyboy language. Yeah, actually, I can't read this. It's it's written using Thai letters, but it's a secret language. Oh wow, this is very of very lady boys. good this backstory. Yeah. Okay, what do you order, Constella? This is uh, cooked shrimp with corn in the special beer sauce. Mm. And this one is a lotus, lotus uh, steam. Yeah. Mm, nice. And this we order rice noodle. And how we eat it, we put the shrimp on top. And... Mm. Wow, so everything in together. Okay, first bite. How was it? The sauce is very special. Really? Yeah. Like the taste that I don't normally get anywhere else. Okay. I need to try it. Oh, and then we also ordered this one. Wow, guys. This is pork neck. In the uh, another sauce, this is the toasted rice. And the, that special sauce also. But this one they added toasted rice. Wow, guys. Look at this. I'm gonna get some noodles. Get everything with sauce. Wow. It's pretty strong, right? The sauce. Wow, it's quite big. Get the shrimp first. Mm. Wow. The shrimp is so fresh. And also, we ordered a little spicy, but it's already spicy. We can't eat spicy. Just have to tell them like, hey, I can't. So the salt is quite special, like you said. It's the first taste that I got. Wow, it's a uh, sweet, sour. You can taste a bit of shrimp paste and also the uh, Thai anchovy sauce, which is very core of the yum. Which is the uh, salad we call here is yum. And I'm gonna try this corn in the sauce. I really like this this yum. Actually, it's very very unique. Um, some place with yum is the problem is it's quite strong. The taste the taste is quite strong and the smell of the uh, the bad smell of the anchovy. But this place they done it pretty well. Like I don't really taste the anchovy taste that much to be honest. Okay, next one I'm gonna try this. Wow, this one is my favorite. You can see. Wow, the salt is super super tense. So I'm gonna have this. Some noodles. Mm. Mm, wow. You can taste the burning rice right away. It's a very unique taste of this yam, which is the. Uh, I think they make this the concept from lab with another Thai salad. This one is quite sweeter than this. Oh, but it's still pretty strong. Wow, it's a really, really unique taste too. So you have to order this one and the pork, the crispy pork, Nick. Mm, wow. Super crunchy and a bit fatty in between, but not too much fat. It's a really good complement with the sour and sweet and spicy of the, uh, of the sauce. So, good choice, Constella.
So we are at the end of our journey. We walk back to our car. What do you think of this, Constella? Is this changed from the last time that you've been here? Yes, be being here brings me back to my younger days. Good energy and mm -hmm. like a lot of young a kids, lot of young right? People, young youth, university students, mm -hmm. and very vibrant. Yeah, energy. for sure. And and the food options are endless. Oh yes. What I love about this place is that well it's quite trendy and the store is very very convenient, very easy to access. Like compared to Chinatown, it's very like chaotic. This one, you know, it's very easy to come here. You can Palmer. Yeah. You can come by uh, BTS at National Stadium station. Or you can take MRT the subway to Samyang station. And also you can drive a car, there's a parking lot behind me everywhere. I would say it's more easier than Yawarat or Chinatown. I don't want to say more food option, but the food option here is to explain this, Constella. I like that it, it's passed down from one generation to the second generation. Uh, so, so you see old restaurants that maybe... Old name, your, right? Ah, from your parents' town. Mm -hmm. And now you see it in an, an upgraded version. Yeah. So that means that the kids finally took over. Yes. And rebrand. The yeah, nice. The taste is the same, but very it's the uh, same old classic taste. Yes, but with a touch modernness. Modernness. Yes, I would agree with that. Kai, you have to come check it out. You in Bangkok? Try to go to Chinatown first, and then maybe come here. I bet you will not be disappointed in this area. For this episode, we will be in here. And if you like this kind of uh, food adventure, please click like and subscribe on the bottom below. Sorry, I blocked your face. <laughs> I will see you on next food adventure. Thanks. Bye.